this morning I would like to talk to you about the transformative power of dreams. In my spiritual journey, at some point, I discovered that dreams are important. Uh, dreams are important to grow spiritually. So I decided that I am going to take up uh, dream work and study the contemporary dream theorists. So I looked at Freud, Jung, and other contemporary dream theorists, and I studied some of their materials. And uh, I realized there was some information that's useful in it, but I ne not the depth, breadth, and scope of dreams that I had yet discovered. So I uh, came across Casey's material, and there I found a tremendous wisdom of dreams. And Casey said dreams are a way in and through which God communicates with us. It's a spiritual discipline. In our popular culture, dreams are relegated to the realm of psychology. Are there psychological aspects in dreaming? Certainly there are. But it's never limited to psychological aspects. And that's what I learned from the Casey material, that every aspect of the individual, of the dreamer, is engaged in dreams. Mental, physical, spiritual, relationships, uh, uh, diet, health, everything. Your hobby, vocation, all aspects. God is mindful of us and would like us to grow in every respect. And within that context, dreams are so important to study so that we can know and understand every aspect of our being. But once I realized that dreams are a spiritual discipline, where else to go better than the scriptures of the world? So I decided I am going to take a systematic study of the Bible and look at what dreams there are and what do Bible have the, has to say about the dreams. But let us leave that for a minute, we'll come back to it. Let's go to Edgar Cayce. Edgar Cayce had tremendous skills. He interpreted 1,500 dreams for 69 people for over a period of 20 years. It's a large collection of dreams, enough data to, for any researcher to take and do some good research. He, was, um, he had the ability to interpret anyone's dreams with swiftness, sureness, and accuracy. There's nothing like this dream could mean, well, let me see what symbol was there. But he went directly to the meaning, the heart of the dream, and said what it, what it meant. He was able to recall parts of dreams that the dreamer could not recall and complete the dream for them. He was able to recall entire dreams that people could not recall. He would correct parts of dreams incorrectly recalled by dreamers. The skills were in incredible. And he would be able to see into undisclosed intimate details of each dreamer that was relevant to the dream just by looking at the dream and not do, knowing the dreamer at all in waking state. We know that he had skills in other areas, but specifically in dreams, these were the skills he displayed. This is a short list, by the way. A case in point is a man who sent in a dream in a form of a letter to Casey. And the dream was the, the Casey didn't know this man in waking state. The man was married, had two children. In the dream, the man said he, uh, a spider fell out of his coat sleeve, goes into the house, and started making uh, cobwebs everywhere. The man said, I tried to chase the, the spider and get rid of the spider. But the spider keeps escaping and making more and more cobwebs everywhere. So he said, finally, finally, I was able to take my pocket knife and kill the hack the spider into pieces. Yes, these are, seems to be very terrible imageries, but it's not unlike the imageries we ourselves have in, in dreams. Casey said in so many words that this dream is showing the extra mental affair you're having. The spider coming in and taking over your home represents what this is doing to your home, to your family, to your wife, your children. This is draining your, the affections of your heart and your wealth, both. And remember the vows you have given and to whom you have given those. He is calling for the ideal of the dreamer, to awaken the ideal in the individual. He was not condemning, he was not chastising of the dreamer. He engaged each one with love. But he was awakening in the dreamer through this troubled situation 
what is important, what ideal is to be lived. Dreams are a spiritual activity. It takes spiritual discernment to understand dreams. That is what I understood about interpreting dreams. That is why the soothsayers, the wise men, the, the interpreters of the time, the experts, could not interpret the dream because it takes spiritual wisdom. And when Daniel said, I have no more wisdom than anyone living, what he meant was that if you are willing to live a certain way of life, you too are able to live that and be able to interpret at least your own dreams, if not somebody else's.